Good morning and a warm welcome to session number six of our daily lockdown workout at home training program to follow along. I hope you guys are doing well. Jakob has prepared a stretching session today and he said if you want to do something more exhausting today just do one of the exercises one to five that we did before. But today is a lot of focus on recovery and stretching. <laughs> Jakob said you can do a workout before that and after that. Yeah, Jakob says, don't be surprised, the exercises will take about two minutes, one stretching exercise up to two minutes, because he thinks that um, the actual stretching effect is only given after two minutes or so. I agree. Every, every, anything under one minute doesn't really have the effect. First exercise. Yeah, heavy and low shoulder. Almost like a defying hand position. And this is important to keep the shoulder low. Yeah. Heavy shoulder, extended arm. Yeah. Pretty upright here. And you should already feel it. It's, it's, it depends on way to short here, sometimes there, sometimes in the shoulder. Yeah, sometimes it's good to close your eyes. You, it's important, stretching is all about feeling. Important note, when you stretch, don't try to, just because the feeling loosens a bit, the, the tension loosens, don't, don't move into the tension, try to create more tension. Let it float away from, by itself. Uh, stretching is a process, uh, you don't actually stretch the muscles. You stretch the um, the tendon muscle connection. There's a small connection element. This is what is actually stretched. Yeah, Jakob says around two minutes there is an effect that has that is a long-lasting effect. Uh, yeah, a wise word. Jakob says, and he's absolutely right. Few exercises with better effect are preferable over many exercises with not a lot of effect. Try to fully extend your arm, slowly back, slowly back, not too quickly. The other side. Nice surface with the hand, heavy shoulder. This way it doesn't work. Right. Hands all the way to you. Yeah, check your breathing and um, try to just stand like Jakob says, chest out. Have a minute. Close your eyes. Yeah, especially after yesterday's workout, I think in the Jakob also says that taking a break for one day, but it's an active break. You know, the training effect is given during your break. You, you have a trigger, you have a load, but then you take a break so that super compensation can take its effect. Heavy shoulders. Always check your position. You can play around with your head position a bit. Fifteen more seconds. Jakob says he feels how that muscle muscle tendon connection loosens up. All right, loosen up a bit. Yeah, 
Next exercise, shoulder rotation, all the way up, ultra slow, ultra slow motion, all the way back. All the way down. All the way forward. This is very important. Most people do it like this. Now you should have a full rotation. That mobility is crucial. Because every time when you go to the catch, you need this mobility right there. Yeah, try to connect it to one circle, but stay exact, full range of motion. <laughs> Jakob says he hears everything making noise inside the shoulder. That's good, normal, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Jakob says it's important to keep the cartilages um, supplied with liquid. There's always a bit of... You know, the cartilage is like a sponge and you need to fill it with liquid so it has um, true protection for the bones. And this is what we do with this exercise. Shoulders are pretty delicate to stretch, so we mobilize them first. Right, stretching exercise, right on forward. Heavy shoulder, that's important. Torso remains in position. Some people have difficulties feeling something. It's always when you just move to the other side. It's low shoulder, moving forward, and then support towards the outside. If you don't do the forward, pull a bit. There is almost no tension there, but it should be. So low shoulder, forward, and then support to the other side. And this is a massive effect if you do it right. If you don't feel it from the start, take your time. It's an important exercise. Play around with it until you have it. Now you see how low Jakob has his right shoulder. It also takes mobility to be able to do this. This is why we mobilized the shoulders before. Hey, if you think that Jakob is doing an excellent job, let him know in the comments. He appreciates that a lot. Yeah, Jakob says, try to get all the tension, the muscle tension out. Let it all go. Slowly back. And the other side, heavy shoulder. Relax, heavy shoulder. Put forward and support with the other hand. To the right. We, we remain in one position. Don't try to Always move more, move further, don't do that. We remain in that position for a while. If you feel like you have to increase the tension, do it when you breathe out. Do not increase the tension when you breathe in. Jakob just says that he doesn't feel as much in, in his left shoulder than he felt in his right shoulder, but nevertheless it's important to do it. You cannot just skip his eye, I don't feel anything anyway. Do it. Do it properly. It will come.
five more seconds and slowly back next position now have a seat on your mat yeah you know this one from martial arts probably feet together that's important sit up straight Bring your knees as far down as possible. That's a classic. Be careful, slowly. The goal is to touch the mat with your knees. Bring your feet to the outside a bit. Now be careful. It takes a long time before this is possible. This is not a competitive exercise. It's meant to be effective. Take your time. Go to a position where you feel like, ooh, that's a nice stretch. And it's, yeah, I can do it. Don't go any further. Stay there and wait until the tension goes away by itself. Don't increase the tension. Leave it where it is. And let, let that feeling of losing tension sink into your body. This is what stretching is. One more minute. Yeah, there are so many stretching exercises. These are a few of the exercises that Jakob has always done during his active career. Good point. Jakob asked me to talk about stretching after weight training. Heavily discussed issue. Uh, some people say, no, it's dangerous, you shouldn't do that. My personal experience is a different one. Um, there, there are different scientific opinions about this, but my personal experience as an athlete and as a coach, it just helps me to recover so much quicker if I stretch after weight training. But you got to do it the right way. Next position, legs apart, don't touch your toes, touch your ankles on the inside. That, it's important, this exercise has a completely different effect if you sit hunched or if you sit straight. Straight, <laughs> that's a different world. And it doesn't matter how far you come forward, it's important that it has effect on you. And also, uh, what I see sometimes, it's not that common anymore, like in the 90s, is stretching is like, always working, don't do this. Quick contractions lead to counter contractions of the muscles. We don't want that. Go to a certain position, we feel like, whew, this is barely possible. Stay there, wait until that tendon muscle connection element loosens up a bit and hold. This is how you stretch properly for relaxation. There are stretching methods for warm up, but this is a different topic. About after one minute, when you feel the first, the first tension having gone, you can increase one more time. It is important not to increase before you stop because this creates a counter tension. Fifteen more seconds. Slowly back. You stay in this position. We use these muscles quite a lot. 
try to bring our elbows to the floor. Yeah, back maybe hunched a bit. If you can bring your elbows to the floor, just move towards the floor, that's enough. And yes, stretching is not always comfortable. What's comfortable is the effect afterwards. Yeah, Jakob says he's quite happy that this is possible. Um, six months ago, he had a quite serious injury. Thirty more seconds. Five more seconds. and break slowly back. Yep, one leg across the other. So if your left leg is extended, you use your left arm and move across and with your elbow, you push the knee a bit. Sometimes there are cramps it's important to rotate your torso. It's important not to sit hunched here. Sit up tall. Breathe. You should have more time at home now. Make sure you stretch well. Use that video more often. You can actually use that stretching video after every exercise, after every session we do. So this is not the last session we record for you guys, but you can use this stretching session particularly for um, any stretching after workout. Right, slowly back, the other side, rotate your torso slowly, there's always one better and one weaker direction. You see how straight Jakob has his back. It's important to push the knee a bit, sit up straight. These are very good exercises to reflect and calm down. I always use them after my workouts to settle. It takes time, but it's extremely helpful, not just for the body, just also for the mind.
barely one more minute. Check your breathing. Yeah, work with your elbow against your leg. And relax slowly. Next exercise, his favorite. Yeah. One angle across the other one. That's so effective. Yeah. Move around your knee with both hands. Roll back. The glutes around, and uh, the muscles around the glutes. This is where you stretch there, and oh, it's so important to have this stretch and relaxed. You can regulate the amount of tension, of course, the harder you pull, the more it is. But you also, when you move your Jakob's right, right foot up and down, it does make a difference. Stretching your glutes also has a massive effect on your mind. My experience is that stretching your glutes relieves tension in the mind and quite often also fear. In Latin it's called musculus maximus, the biggest muscle we have everything around the butt and I think this lacks stretching quite often. One more minute. If you move a bit to the left or right, you can also increase or decrease tension. So if you tilt your knees now to Jakob's right, you increase the tension. One of my favorite exercises as well. Thirty more seconds. And slowly relieve the tension. Change sides. One more minute.
Very good. Relax. One more exercise. That's a classic. Try to touch your toes. Whatever is possible. Straight back. That's important. Straight lower, straight lower back. That's exactly the mobility many athletes are missing. And this is how you get it. as well as possible upright with your torso. <laughs> yeah, Jakob says, it's got a bit sore muscles from rope skipping yesterday. Probably many of you as well, if you haven't done this in a long time. One more minute. I think this is a very effective workout today. Very good. Release the tension. So we went up from the upper section to the lower sections. Stay healthy, everybody. And we're looking forward to meet you all back again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.